Now we are going to define the panel antennas and the microwave dishes. The tower is equipped with three antenna type Catherine 8001089 at the level of 54 meters. One mount per antenna. The diameter of the mounting pipes is 76 millimeters and the length is equal to 3000 millimeters. Another three panel antennas of the same previous type at 40 meters level. From Appurtenance Group, open panel antenna dialog box. Set the elevation of the center of the antenna equal to 54 meters. Select the type of antenna Catherine 8001089. Select mount 73 times 3000. Set the quantity equal to 1 because each antenna will be defined in a separate row to look at the different azimuth. Set the location type structure where the antenna will be installed by the mount directly on the structure without platform. Set the offset type from leg. Therefore, the antenna will be installed on the main leg and measure the horizontal offset from the main leg. The square tower has four legs marked A, B, C and D. Set the leg equal to A. The antenna will be installed at corner leg A. Set the horizontal offset to 0.5 meters. This is the net distance between the back of the antenna and the tower leg. Set lateral offset equal to zero. Set the vertical offset to zero because the elevation of the center of both the antenna and the mount is the same. Set the azimuth adjustment to zero to make the antenna direction equal to the direction of an imaginary ray starting from the tower center toward the tower leg. Set the tilt adjustment to zero to make the antenna direction horizontal. This option is used to consider the effect of a mechanical tilt mechanism with the antenna. The clear spacing is the distance from behind the antenna to the face of the mounting pipe. Set it equal to 0.15 meters. Set Ka to 1 assuming that the antenna is not shielded. Select the current row and on the keyboard click the control button with C button to copy. Select a new row and on the keyboard click the control button with the V button to paste it. Paste it twice. Modify the leg to be B in the second row and C in the third row. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. To zoom, rotate the mouse scroll. You see three panel antennas with their mounts added to the 3D view. To see the plan view, click the Fit button. Click the XZ button. To zoom, rotate the mouse scroll. To see the antenna clearly, we will customize the view limits. In the top tab, select the setting and click the color button. Bottom drawn level equal to 45 meters. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Let's try the effect of changing the offset type. From the appurtenance group, open the panel antenna dialog box. In the offset type in the first row, select from face. Click OK. Click update to refresh the graphics. You see that the antenna is now connected to the center of the face A instead of the corner leg. Let's modify the horizontal offset. Set it equal to 1 meter. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Now the distance from the back of the antenna and the face of the tower is equal to 1 meter. Let's modify the lateral offset. Set it equal to a positive 1 meter. The panel antenna is moved in the right direction. Set it equal to a negative 1 meter. The panel antenna is moved in the left direction due to negative lateral offset. 
Let's edit the azimuth adjustment. Set to 45 degrees. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Let's try another offset type. Reset the horizontal offset to 0.5 meters, the lateral offset to 0 and the azimuth adjustment to 0. In the offset type, select From Centroid Leg. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. You will see that the antenna is pointing towards the main leg A but measuring the horizontal offset from the centroid tower. The horizontal distance is measured from behind the antenna and the centre of the tower. Set the horizontal offset to From Leg. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. The distance from the back of the antenna to the leg A leg is 0.5 metres. It's the horizontal offset. Set the horizontal offset back to From Centroid Leg. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. The distance from the back of the antenna to the centre of the tower is equal to 0.5 metres. It's the horizontal offset. Let's increase the horizontal offset to 1 metre. Now the position of the antenna is moved away from the centre of the tower. Let's set the offset type to From Centroid Face. Now the direction of the antenna is towards the face A and the distance from the back of the antenna and the centre of the tower is equal to zero. This distance is the horizontal offset. Let's increase the horizontal offset to 2 metres. Now the position of the antenna is moved away from the centre of the tower. You can define the panel antenna by different offset type and review the 3D graphic with the actual site condition. Choose your easiest method. If the panel antenna is installed on the leg, the easiest way is to use the offset type from leg. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Now the upper three antennas are defined. Let's define the second level at 40 metres. Select the first three rows. On the keyboard, click the control button with the C button to copy. Select a new row and on the keyboard, click the control button with the V button to paste. Modify elevation to be 40, 40 and 40 metres. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Click the 3D button to reset the view. In the top tab, select the setting and click the colour button. Click Reset. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. You see the three antennas at an elevation of 40 metres. You can modify all colours in the 3D view. At the top tab, select the setting and click the colour button. Set the main leg colour equal to yellow. Click OK. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. You see the main legs are yellow. In the top tab, select the setting and click the colour button. Click Reset. Change the ladder colour to be red. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. In the top tab, select the setting and click the colour button. Click Reset. Change the colour of the feeder to be black. Also, you can hide any item by making it unchecked. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Click Reset. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Let's add microwave dishes. 
four dishes 1.2 metres from Andrew with a mount at a height of 51.9 metres. Four dishes 0 0.6 metres from Andrew with a mount at a height of 49 metres. From the appurtenance group, open the microwave antenna dialog box. Set the elevation equal to 51.9 metres. In the microwave type, Andrew microwave does not appear in the list. In the top tab, select the database and click the microwave dish button. Close the Andrew group. Open Andrew metric group. Check on HP 1.2 meters Andrew. Check on HP 0.6 meters Andrew. You can also choose from imperial names. Click close. From the appurtenance group, Open the microwave antenna dialog box. ASM tower complete some missing entries with default values when we last closed this dialog. Open the type list and choose HP 1.2 meters Andrew. In mount type, select mount 76 times 1500. Leave the quantity equal to 1. Set the horizontal offset equal to 0 0.5 meters. Set lateral offset equal to zero. Set the vertical offset to zero. Set the azimuth adjustment to zero. Set the tilt adjustment to zero. Set a clear distance equal to 0 0.2 meters. This is the distance from the back of the microwave until the mounting pipe face. Set Ka equal to one, assuming an unshielded microwave mount. The value of Ka does not affect the calculation of the wind load on the microwave, but only affects the calculation of the wind load on the microwave mount. Select the current row and on the keyboard, click the control button with C button to copy. Select a new row and on the keyboard, click the control button with the V button to paste it. Paste it three times. Modify the leg to B. C and D. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. To zoom in, rotate the mouse scroll. You may notice a clash between the tower and the mount arm. You can fix it by reducing the clear distance between the microwave and the mount or increasing the horizontal offset distance. From the appurtenance group, open the microwave antenna dialog box. Set all clear distances equal to 0 0.1 meters. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Reducing the clear distance keeps the microwave in place and moves the mount toward the microwave. Now there is almost no clash. You can move the microwave by increasing the horizontal offset. Set the horizontal offset equal to 1 meter. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. The microwave has moved with its mount away from a tower leg. To move the mount towards the tower leg, increase the clear distance. Set clear distances equal to 0 0.4 meters. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Increased clear distance maintained the position of the microwave while moving the mount toward the legs of the tower. Set the old values for clear distance and horizontal offset again. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Let's see the effect of changing the vertical offset. Set a vertical offset equal to 0 0.5 meters. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. The center of the microwave has risen 0 0.5 meters above the center of the mount. Let's see the effect of changing the tilt adjustment. Set the vertical offset to 0 and tilt adjustment to 45 degrees. Now the direction of the microwave is towards the sky like satellite dishes. 
Reset tilt adjustment to zero because in this example, this microwave is connected to another microwave and not to a satellite. Select the first four rows and on the keyboard, click the control button with the C button to copy them. Select a new row and on the keyboard, click the control button with the V button to paste it. Modify elevation to be 49 meters. In the microwave type, select HP 0.6 meters Andrew. Copy and paste its name. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. The second level is drawn.